looks exactly like when you were little. You really think so? I mean, it does. What? But what do you think? I think it's late, and maybe we should go to bed and call Catalina tomorrow and sort this out. Sort this out? Well, how do you say maybe no, so she clearly it? believes I am her long-lost granddaughter for whom she has been searching for for 37 years. You saw how she behaved when she saw me. I am not crazy. No, but this is all... And they must have clearly stopped my mother to get to me, or I don't know. Oh, my God. I know. Oh, my God. What if they're playing? It's that what you think? They're like, what, con artists? They want money? I mean, all I'm saying is that this is circumstantial. Just because Catalina seems trustworthy it doesn't mean your story's true. You actually have to gather evidence, hard evidence. You can't just take her word for it. Okay, there you've been watching a scene from uh, The Abuelas. Teatro Vistas is this brand new production with, again, a very catchy name called The Abuelas. I love it, by the way. And so joining <laughs> us to tell us about it are Nate Santana and Cruz Gonzalez Cadel. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having us. Okay, yes. I'm hearing wonderful things about this. So I need to ask you, I get sort of the premise behind it, but go a little deeper. Explain. I don't know which one of you wants to take it. Do you want to start? Um... Yeah, I mean, it basically uh, uh, follows the story of uh, Gabriela, played by Cruz, okay. and um, she is the first female cellist in uh, the CSO. And it's kind of her, her life is on one trajectory, and then she kind of gets this information that kind of completely derails everything about what she thinks she uh, is or who she thinks she is. Okay. Um, yeah, her identity. And yeah. it deals with the repercussions of um, Argentina's military dictatorship mm -hmm. of the 70s. Um, and uh, what I love about the show is it takes this historic moment and it just like focuses on an ordinary Chicago couple, you know, um, Marty and Gabby, who they've been married for a while and they are new parents. They both yeah. have like high stress careers. Uh, Marty's an architect, Gabby's a cellist, a concert cellist. So I love how it takes a huge historical moment in a country yeah. and just brings it to Chicago, uh, to a new city, to a new place, and to this couple who's just trying to make it work. Yeah, and I think that's such an important way to introduce history to uh, a younger generation and introduce theater um, to maybe young kids who may be interested in it. Okay, let's talk about <laughs> yeah. the two of you, because I don't want to give away too much about sure. the show and what they're doing <laughs> over at Teatro Vista. I want people to go out and see it and, and, and be a part of that uh, great organization. So tell me about some of the things that you guys are working on other than this project with Teatro Viste. I'll, I'll start with you. As personal as a, as a actors. Actor, <laughs> yes. Um, well, I've been lucky enough to have been doing some, some great work on TV and mm -hmm. commercials, which is always fun. Yeah. I, um, not too long ago, I was on a guest star on Chicago Mad mm -hmm. with a Mr. <laughs> Santana here who's a Serious, regular, I mean, he's a regular, a regular guest star. Y yes. Yes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> On Chicago Med. Um, okay. So I've been doing that, and my focus has been on this show for a really long time. Yeah. As an Argentinian actor living in Chicago, getting the opportunity to share this story was immense. Yeah. for me and I felt a, a huge responsibility in the best way possible. So this so, was one that you had been watching for a while and wa you wanted that role. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that's the beautiful thing about uh, being an ensemble member at Teatro Vista and having an artistic family that I, you know we can bring projects like this to the company okay. and and say you know I found this great role in in theater that I, I want to play you know I found a role yeah. that that is exciting and that it's a great opportunity uh, for me and get the support yeah, of, of, of your artistic you know, family to be okay. like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Let's turn to Nate. Um, she just kind of gave it away that you were <laughs> on all these wonderful I'm so, I'm shows. I'm so yeah. proud of him. Uh, but other than yeah. Teatro Vista and of course Chicago Med, which is, is, is huge that you're yeah. a part of that show. What else, what other projects are you working on? Well, um, you know, I've, I've kind of been dabbling here and there, but with, um, you know, with shooting schedule and everything with, with med, I, I've been primarily doing that since July, and I've been really, mm -hmm. really lucky and fortunate to be able to stay in Chicago and work um, that way. I, I work with another theater company called Shattered Globe, and I do a, um, a kind of a training, teaching program with them, and, and whatever I can do otherwise to, to uh, kind of get my hands on the script and stay working. Um, but similarly, we've been looking at this play for, for a few um, well, for about a year, and so it's kind of been the back burner. But um, but that's kind of been taking up my primary focus the last, <laughs> yeah. the last year, yeah, in a great way. In a really, yeah. Really great Are way. you guys seeing more productions where um, it tells a story of Latinos, whether it's from Argentina or Venezuela or other parts uh, of Latin America, where it tells kind of their their deeper story? 
Yeah, I think, I think obviously that's our aim, but you see theater companies around the city, um, you know, Steppenwolf is making mm -hmm. kind of a, a bigger um, um, uh, move to, to Yeah, include they've been those, really those committed stories. to do yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, and so I think it's definitely, um, which, is, which is great, it, it moves yeah, it definitely. Yeah, there's in also direction. so many incredible um, Latinx theater companies in the city, you know, Urban Theater, uh, Aguijon Theater that does theater yeah. only in Spanish. I mean, there's so many great companies doing work and putting these stories at the forefront and sharing them with our communities. And obviously that's Teatro Vista's mm -hmm. primary aim is mm -hmm. to um, share stories through the Latinx lens, through our perspective. Mm -hmm. And we've been working on this together for, as Nate said, almost a year. So that has been great too. I mean, we, we play a, a couple on stage and we play a married couple. So we had a long time to just yeah, to kind of talk about, it. about yeah. it and, and yeah. dive in and, and and we wanted people to come to the theater and feel related in yeah, some way of you know to you brought in it brought up an interesting point when you walked in that I interviewed you what like 10 years ago or something like that during eight one of ago. your first eight years ago during Actually, one of your my first, first show in Chicago ever yeah um, and, and I, my first interview ever <laughs> Well, I'm TV. glad you came back. I know. Yeah. Thanks for having me back. Um, um, but one of the things ago. that I remember back then was that there was this big push to try to get more uh, Latino representation in projects and two, to try to get more Latinos out to the theater. And I think you guys are on your way. Like that is happening more and more. Do you notice that as well? I'll start with you. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a big focus and it's definitely, I mean, that's, you know, one of the things that we're trying to do is just uh, serve the greater Latinx community uh, and that's through these stories so mm -hmm. it's definitely a, a big it's thing. Ha it's, happening, yeah. it's happening. Yeah. And like and we've noticed that when you when you tell um, stories about the community itself I mean it happened with La Habana Madrid uh, our last uh, our last show that's coming back mm -hmm. later this season um, the, the people want to see themselves sure. on stage, yeah. you know, they want to see themselves represented. They want to see themselves in everyday situations in, in, in different sense. scopes and, yeah, and lenses. Okay, so let's get the information up on the screen if folks are interested in going to Teatro Vista to see the Abuelas. Uh, is there a number where they can call or a website that you recommend that they go to? And there's yes. um, the billboard for it. It's That's Victory perfect. Gardens. It's running until March 17th, so they've got a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. They have, a yeah, eight more chances. Starting eight to, more yeah. chances. There um, you go. The clock is ticking. TeatroVista.org for more information. Congratulations thank and you. Uh, good luck.